Do you ever get an itch and you can't tell whether it's in your ear or your mouth? What is that? Why do we itch at all? Anthony here for D News, and I can't even think about itching without getting an itch somewhere. But there are different kinds of itching, you know, and a study at Washington University School of Medicine has figured out more about why they happen. Itching is called, in fancy science speak, the pruritic response, which is really hard for me to say. Everything starts with some external stimuli, and not good stimuli. Something not cool going on with your skin, and some of your nerves pick up on it. Nerves that are actually dedicated to itching. In a lot of cases, say a mosquito bite, poison ivy, or chicken pox, itches that are caused by some sort of inflammation, those nerves release a protein called histamine up your spinal cord to the cerebral cortex of your brain. And your brain's got some neurons up there called nociceptors. And all they do is send out the signals that cause pain in response to potentially damaging things. Itching is caused by a specific kind of nociceptor called pruriceptors. It's that sound over and over again. They cause a very different type of reaction in you. Pain makes you retract from something, right? Itching makes you go at it to scratch so you can move whatever irritant is causing it on your skin. It's part of the pain system, but it doesn't involve your pain receptors at all. The research done by Washington University was all about a different kind of itching, chronic itching. Now this one is more related to injury or medical conditions. It happens in people with eczema or psoriasis or allergic contact dermatitis. And while the itching from normal irritants goes away pretty quickly, chronic itching can last for weeks or even years. And the researchers found that chronic itching actually jumps out of just the itch neurons and uses the whole pain system. It takes over pain neurons and uses them to make the itching more intense. They're not quite sure why it happens, but they found that it's connected to a specific protein called BRAF, and that by inhibiting it, they could potentially create new medications for people with chronic itching. Uh, now I'm itching everywhere. By the way, if you've ever wondered why just thinking about itching makes you itchy, well, so have scientists. There are a couple theories. Uh, one is that the threshold for itchiness is lowered just by thinking about it, like you're priming your itch nerves for activation. And the second is that it's a sympathetic contagious response, like when we yawn after someone else yawns. Not that knowing either of those is gonna make it go away. Man, I am super susceptible to contagious itching and yawning. What about you? Let me know down below and subscribe for more D News.